really hoping to walleye. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. It's a big walleye. Holy cow. I gotta set this down. Holy cow. Look at that wall motor, buddy. Oh my god. Well, welcome back, everybody, to NB Edits. Today, as you probably read by the title of this video, it is spring opener up here in Wisconsin. And guys, we're not even filming yet. Uh, we don't have GoPros on yet. And I just gotta show you something. Very first wall of the day for me. You know, nice like 28 incher probably, all day. <laughs> We're just getting going. Brandon caught like a 13 and a half. We decided not to pull out the camera on that one. But uh, wish I had the GoPro on for this. Good fight. Got my dad and Bridge right behind us in the boat, doing some drift fishing, using uh, small eighth ounce jigs with tipping it with minnows. This big girl wanted to eat. Gonna get a measurement. We don't have uh, any sort of way to measure this, so we're gonna have to go over by my dad to check it out. But I'm guessing at least 28 inch here, probably. And uh, we're gonna grab a few pictures. That's a great way to start the day. Uh, it's probably just gonna get a lot better considering we're like an hour in already. So, great way. Hopefully, you guys are pumped as we are for opener. Feels good to get back up in the north woods here and. Uh, do what we do best, which is catch some giant walleyes. Got a measurement, 27 inches. Not as big as what I thought it was. Definitely still, I mean, a dandy northern Wisconsin walleye. I don't know about that. Full of energy. Full of energy still. Had her out of the water, but the nice thing about uh, coming up here and fishing in May, usually the water temps are good enough and the air temp is good enough to have the fish out so you can handle them a little better versus early spring where you gotta like, get them out, take a picture, release them right away. So the funny thing is about that walleye actually, I've been fishing the Fox River and the Bay all spring so far, probably for a solid month we fished the Bay, right? And that beats all the fish I beat <laughs> in the Bay. Like I didn't catch anything quite that big. Um, there's definitely bigger fish in this lake too, which is crazy. I mean, that guy over there, Bridge, he's caught nine and a half pounder my dad's caught plenty of you know eight pounders brandon caught a 29 i mean this is just a lot so if we're starting off with 27 things are going up from here i can't pretty good i can't oh actually i can't let him hold on whoa, whoa. Oh, i got the other net in there hold on all right i got the net don't worry i don't know it was snagged around some stuff Oh yeah, nice fish. Let's go. Let's go. Nice fish. Woo! Check that out, guys. Probably a nice 23, 24 inch walleye, I'd say. Oh my gosh, look at that dorsal. That is crazy. It's nuts. Go ahead and get this net out of the way. inch walleye look at that that is so cool oh man wow that's an old fish might be a really old male would be my guess yeah he's tired that's an old fish he'll be just fine put up a pretty good fight he hit it like a ton of bricks there he goes gone yep he's gone Woo. All right, well, that was exciting. Like I said, that one came up and pounded it. Um, I had a small one earlier today before even starting to film and it was kind of a soft bite. And then I started doing stuff that was weird. I didn't even know if it was a walleye or not, but uh, that one, that one I knew for sure, that was a thump. Woo. All right, well, we're gonna get back out there. We were fishing a little bit deeper there. Wind's really starting to pick up coming up at us here today. And uh, I think that's gonna be the ticket. We got that walleye chop, so let's go get another one. Hooked up again. What do we got? Oh no. Oh no. Not one of them. Not one of these guys. Oh Jesus. Going for the risky play of the year. That's how you net them, huh? <laughs> oh man. So 
in the video this is the first pike but actually this is not the first pike of the open water season for me see it turns out brandon and i showed up to this lake at midnight last night and decided to do a little fishing before i was sleeping in the tent and i hooked into what we believe is probably around 40 inches we didn't actually get a measurement we measured it on the rod we still gotta get a tape measure and actually see what it was but it was easy 38 uh, we do have a picture of it so i'll pop it up and you can see just actually how big this northern pike was but uh yeah we weren't really going for him i mean we were obviously going for some walleyes he happened to munch so that I caught at midnight, then I caught that 27 inch walleye already. So my spring opener is kind of turning out to be like how Brandon's was. If you guys don't know or haven't seen the video from last year's opener, Brandon absolutely clapped. I mean, he caught a 28 and a half inch walleye, a 26 and a half, a 44 inch pike, like a 20 some inch bass. I mean, absolutely unreal. Definitely go check that one out. Uh, it's a great video, but yeah. Big fish are munching. Hopefully we can get a few more walleyes here. No more of those northerns. They are fun to catch, but we're strictly going for a while here. Holy freaking cow. I needed this. This is nice. Well, everybody, a little midday update for you. We are currently laying on the shore because because we have some explaining to do so you see we got to the lake at midnight and we didn't go to bed until about 4 30 and then my dad and bridge got here to the landing at a little after 5 15 i think maybe 5 30 still so we got like a solid hour of sleep um and we've been just going hard. I mean, the fishing was pretty good in the morning. We got a couple walleyes right away, some northerns. Uh, since that last fish that Brandon caught, we've caught some northerns. Uh, Brandon caught another small walleye, but we didn't film any of that. We just, yeah, we just didn't want to pick up the camera for that after catching, you know, some nice walleyes. So we've, yeah, we're kind of just chilling on the shoreline, extremely tired, thinking about a nap. Uh, Brandon's munching on some wheat thins. Oh yeah, wheat thins. I mean, things aren't bad. I know my dad and them are out there still somewhere sending it. Maybe catching fish, maybe not, I don't know. We're gonna take like an hour nap, then we're gonna head back into the boat. We should be getting into some better walleye fishing conditions. The weather is completely wrong. I mean, yeah. they were calling for like, well, the wind is right, but it wasn't supposed to be sunny. It's bluebeard skies out here. It was supposed to be mostly cloudy, chance of sun. Um, it wasn't supposed to rain at all today. We got not downpoured on, but we definitely oh, we got, got rain. wet. We definitely got wet this morning for probably a good solid two hours, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's just not the right conditions, but we do have some high hopes. I mean, the big fish are eating today. I just don't think it's going to be right now. So hopefully in like an hour or so after our little nap sesh, when we go back out there, we're going to absolutely chow some fish. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And also, I don't wanna hear any crap about these guys are lackadaisy and no, we're grinders, okay? We were out here at midnight last night and honestly, the walleyes just don't really hit that often in these type of conditions. They don't like sun and bluebird days. I mean, they like this wind. We got a great walleye chop, but the peak for tonight is supposed to be around four o'clock or so. So I think we're gonna get out there in a, about an hour and uh, hopefully get out there and slay. So, see ya. I don't know if it's a pike or a walleye. It's kind of looking walleye. like a walleye. It's, nice. it's a walleye. Yep, that's a nice one. Oh. Big, big, welcome back after the Ooh. nap. Straight after the nap. And we're already out here clapping. Jeez, baby, let's go. Big old walleye. <laughs> wow, let's go. All we need was a real little refresher, yep. huh? Yep, just had to, you know, go on shore, take yourself a little nap, and then come out here. And I just, I missed one too. It was yep. probably a walleye. We almost doubled up. Oh, man. What's happened though? I don't know. Talk about the wind, tell them. Okay, so <laughs> first, take a look. Nice fish, beautiful walleye, probably, 
I don't know, what do you think that is? 25, roughly? 24, 25, 24. I'd say. So, thinner fish. Not a huge belly to this one, but that's a very gorgeous fish. We're gonna go ahead and get some pictures of this guy, but I'll tell you what, this is awesome. We got the boys right behind us. Like I said, just got back out here from the map. First pass, sun is still in full effect, but we're getting into the evening hours now. It's probably roughly four o'clock-ish right now. And uh, the wind kind of changed a little bit. This is the wind that we wanted all day. Um, this is perfect drift weather. Just got a little chop. Went from Sun's south gonna, to west. Yeah, it went from south to west. And uh, now that we got that west wind, it's just pushing us into shore. And uh, well, that's how you get walleyes just like that. So like I said, gonna get a couple photos and get this guy back in the water. Well, you see what happened here was while I was netting Brandon's fish, this northern, he hit my jig. The fish, oh, 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 the fish are biting, Brandon. Holy cow. Oh. All right, well, fish are biting. That's a big girl. We got to go ahead and get this one back into the water right away because we got more fish to catch, and this one has still got plenty of energy in it. Where hey. are you going, buddy? Hey, you're not. Come no. on. Come here. You're going to want to go out deep. Look at that. Just beautiful. Woo. No, he, he, she just, oh, look at that. There she goes. Woo. She's just gonna sit under those weeds. Yeah. There you go. Woo, man. Okay, well, we've got a pike to deal with. We've got more fish to catch. Oh man, let's get back out there. All right, well, just got a walleye. Yeah, and he's now down under there. Nick is now hooked up. Oh, it's a nice one, Nick. Another walleye. Looks nice. It's been hours back to back. since we've had a good bite. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, God. There you go. Yeah, it's been hours. We've caught a lot of northerns, but uh, we haven't caught a lot of walleyes. As you can tell, sun's going down, wind is completely died, so we're casting some rock bars. Caught this one, cast before just like a 16, 17 incher. Be taking that one home to eat. Cast it kind of where I thought I had that last one. And then I caught this. Probably like a 23, 24 inch. Nice walleye. I don't know, it must be figuring out something here right at the end of the day. Now we did know going into it that uh, this time of the day was just definitely gonna be better for the bite, but the last couple hours were definitely a struggle. We've been fishing for almost 18 hours straight at this point. So <laughs> this is only, well, that was my second walleye of the day besides that 27. This was my third. So we're talking six hours in and then, oh, they just caught one too. My dad just caught a fish. Not sure if it's a walleye or not, but is that a walleye? Yeah. That's a nice <laughs> one. Jeez. It was a northern, but probably gonna grab a few pictures. This fish is pretty beat up. No idea how big this fish actually is, but probably nice. We'll, we'll call her a 23 and a half. We'll meet in the middle, I might guess. Nice healthy fish. There we go. Nice slow release. I'm gonna put this guy in the stringer. We're gonna try to capitalize on this. We probably got, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes so before the sun actually goes down. So if they're here, we're gonna try to catch a few more. Ooh. Quite large. Ooh, that is not a small pike. Yeah, you might have to play that one till he's tired. Oh. It's not like a mega giant, I don't think, but it's... Mm, 30 something. It's not small. Got a quick look at Wow, he's chill. Yeah, he is actually. Ah, we spoke too soon. <laughs> oh, nice job. Keeping him pinned. Uh oh, uh oh, that's scary. 
There we go. Going for it. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. With one hand on the net and one hand on the camera, that got a little bit crazy. <laughs> it's not a bad pike. No. I mean, it's not huge. It's definitely not 40, but it's probably 32, 33, 34, somewhere in that range, I would say. Yeah. Definitely nice, amazing. healthy chunky fish gave up a good fight in the beginning he wasn't really doing anything i don't even know if he knew he was hooked in the beginning <laughs> he just thought he was getting the middle <sighs> fish are all sorts of fired up as soon as the sun started to go down i mean it's game on which is awesome all right get a release on this guy we've been keeping northerns but this one's just a little big for my liking get them back these are the ones those are the ones you want to get back because those are the ones that already made it past the 30 mark so those are the ones that have the best chance of getting 40, which is what everybody wants up here. So important to get those guys back, get another minnow on, and catch another fish. Well, guys, I don't even know what to say here. See, we keep on saying that we're like, well, basically what I'm trying to say here is we're really bad at camera work, but the walleyes are biting. They've caught a bunch, and we've caught a bunch. I want to be kind of quiet because there's other people on the lake now, but this is... uh I want to say one of the last, but we're almost getting them every single cast right now. So, going to release this guy quick because he's definitely in the slot. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get one more. I would like to actually pick up the camera and like show you the catch this time. So we're gonna see if we can do that. This guy is rambunctious. What do you have? A uh, pike. Oh. oh, a little late night bite. All right, there we go. Got him unhooked. Probably gonna be last fish of the night for us. Take a look. Skinny little pike. Every once in a while we get into these, but there are definitely some big boys in this lake. That is for sure. Lots of fun out here today. Go ahead and get a release on that one. And uh, yeah, like I said, tons of fun. Um, we did not get to pick up the camera nearly enough. During the middle of the day, when you could have seen on the GoPros, it was crazy windy. I mean, 15, 20 mile an hour winds plus, and you probably couldn't have heard most of the audio. So we didn't really use the GoPros a lot this morning. And uh, once it got into the evening hours, it got really calm. The fish really died down until the sun went down. Right at sundown, they started hammering. We couldn't we had, even pick up the camera. No, we, we couldn't must pick have up. Caught, it like, was literally how many walleyes? just cast 15? after cast. Yeah, probably at least a dozen. Between the two boats. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was unreal. Pike too, they didn't stop either. So had ourselves an awesome night of fishing, had a lot of fun, super calm, beautiful weather. Could not really have asked for a better opener. I mean, Nick got into a 27 plus inch walleye and you got into a 40 plus, hopefully. Uh, we never got a true measurement, but we will tonight uh, when we go back and grab a tape measure. So with that being said, it's been a good opener. We're gonna go ahead and start packing everything up. We've got a ways back and then uh, we will see you guys when we get back what am I going to say? To the truck. Oh, yeah. Sure. And we will see you guys when we get back to the truck. Well, you guys will never believe this, but we forgot to film an outro at the truck. When we got off the lake, we were just so dead tired, all of us, that we loaded up the stuff, drove all the way home, and pretty much just went to bed but if you guys have made it this far in the video please make sure to give it a like let us know down in the comment section what you guys want to see now that the lakes are open for game fish um, we are up for pretty much anything that you guys will suggest and also before this video ends I would like to address a few things now obviously if you guys have been subscribed to the channel or just watch us you know that we have been doing the two or three videos a week pretty much at the start of ice fishing and uh, the last month month and a half we just kind of fell off the side of the earth really there's not that many reasons why we haven't uploaded for the past month mainly because we do have full-time jobs not a lot of you guys know that we don't do YouTube full-time uh, so we do have to work 40 50 60 hour weeks we have families we have dogs we have you know other stuff that we got to do and take care of 
Uh, so that's mainly the reason why we just haven't been filming for the past month. We have been doing a lot of fishing. Uh, if you guys follow us on Instagram and stuff like that, you have seen us been catching some smallmouth and some walleyes and stuff like that, uh, which possibly could be in videos really soon here. But I just wanted to clear things up and tell you guys, you know, we're live. We are going to be doing uh, more videos coming up soon here in the future. I don't know if it's going to be quite three videos a week, but we are going to be doing weekly videos. Uh, for sure, one weekend, we are going to be doing two videos a week as well. But like I said, leave some comments down in the comment section below, letting us what you guys want to see. Let us know if you enjoyed today's video, how you guys did on spring opener. And that's pretty much all I have. I'm out here chilling with the dogs right now. They're absolutely crazy. So I got that on my plate, but that is all I got for you guys. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Tight Lines from NB Edits. Mm -hmm.